Hi, today I'm talking about leak code problem 1017, convert to base negative 2, or negative binary. This problem is actually pretty simple when you get down to it, but I found I struggled a little bit to implement it in Python. Uh, what this is asking you to do is to take a number, so 4 for example, and to convert it to its representation in base negative 2. So you may remember or you may know, base 2, um, the first value would be equal to whatever value is there, I guess we'll just call it i, times 2 to uh, the power of the space we're at, so the zeroth power. And then the second value would be times 2 to the power of 1, um, and so on, um, times 2 to the power whatever, in. Dot, dot, dot. Um, so, for example, if we had 1, 0, this would be equal to 1 times 2 to the power 1, or 1 times 2, um, which is 2, plus, uh, plus 0 times 2 to the power 0, which is 0. So, 1, 0 would equal um, 2. If it was 1, 1, then it would be 1 times 2 to the power 0, which would be 1 and it would be 3, and so on. So base negative 2 is the same thing, except instead of i times 2 to the power 0, it's i times um, negative 2 to the power n. Um, and so it can make it a little bit tricky to think about how you reverse it. Um, but basically it, it's the same algorithm as if you were using a positive um, base. Like what, what's interesting about base negative 2, I guess, is that you can represent negative numbers. Like if this was negative 4, that would be, um, well, I thought I could do it in my head. I assumed I could. It would be, let's just do the algorithm to convert. You take um, the remainder of dividing it by negative 2. So remainder of dividing this by negative 2 would be 0. Um, and then you actually, oops, let me, let me be 0. Then you actually divide this by negative 2. So we get 2. 2 uh, remainder, or 2 modulo negative 2 would be, again, we have that evenly divides. So we have 0. Um, actually divide it by 2 and get 1. And then here we'd have 1 would remain. Um, I think that's right. Let me let me run a test case to make sure that I'm not misleading it. 4. Oops. 4 should convert to 100, which is exactly how I converted it here. So I hope you you see how I'm doing that. I say, okay, we start with negative 4. We get its remainder for the first digit, remainder mod 2. Then we actually divide by negative 2. We get 2 mod negative 2 for the remainder. Then we actually divide by 2. Um, we get the remainder here, which is 1. We divide by negative 2 again, which will take us to 0. We're doing a kind of integer division. And when we're at zero, we can just stop. You know, there's nothing left to do here. And so our result is just uh, one, one, zero, zero. Um, so base negative two, it's a bit less predictable than um, base two because, you know, these values are alternatingly contributing to negative or positive sums, uh, if that makes sense. But the actual algorithm for how you implement it is, is pretty similar. So let me just walk through that. First, I just have this special case. I couldn't think of a more elegant way to handle this. But if n is 0, then I'm just going to return the string 0. Otherwise, I'm building up this list here that I call digits. Um, and that's where I'm going to put each digit as I, as I get ready to um, build it into my answer while n is not equal to 0. So again, I'm moving my n, like my input value, towards 0. Um, so I'm going to get the digit. 
Now this is written somewhat confusingly. I found that in Python if you take mod negative 2 that it'll give you back a negative 1 or 0. Um, and I don't want a negative 1 to be going into my digits. I just want a 1 if it's a negative 1 and I want a uh, 0 if it's a 0. Which is why I'm multiplying by negative 1. Um, so that my digit is either 1 or 0. Um, and then here I this is where I meant by struggling a bit. I couldn't figure out why this was happening. My initial um, thought was just to say I want integer division. So just in integer divide by negative 2. Uh, but that's not quite right when you're dividing by negative 2. In Python, um, it, you can see I, <laughs> I was trying to work out what was happening. In Python, um, it's actually floor division well, I don't know about actually floor division versus integer division, but what it is is floor division. So it takes the smaller value. So three divided by two, oops, neg sorry, three divided by negative two is negative one point five. So if you if you do the floor division of that, it's going to take the smaller value or negative two, which may not be what you expect because three um, integer divided by two is 1. 3 floor division of 2 is 1. So I was expecting it to be negative 1, um, which is what I want, and instead it was giving me um, it was giving me negative 2. So what I need is the ceiling, not the floor division, but just the ceiling of the actual division. So if this gets negative 1.5, what I want is negative 2. Um, and ceiling is a function from the math library. Uh, and then I'm just going to put the digit at the very beginning of my list. So this says insert at the zero position the digit that I just calculated, which is either a one or zero. And then finally, because it wants me to return it as a string, I'm just going to join the result of mapping the string function to each of my digits. So it's basically just convert all of my ones and zeros to the string representation of 1 and 0, and then join them all with nothing in between them into a string. And I experimented a little bit with, um, with would it be faster to insert at the beginning, or would it be faster to append at the end? So, or could I append um, digit and then return the reverse of my string? Um, which should work equally well, but it won't be as fast. Or sorry, I thought this wouldn't be as fast, but it wound up that kind of no matter what I did, all of the answers were 40 milliseconds. So I couldn't really get it to change uh, how quickly it was running or not. I tried a few different variations, um, hoping I could think of something to improve the performance, but I really couldn't. Um, everything is literally 40, millise 40 milliseconds. So I don't don't really know what that means. And then my wrong answer here, of course, was because I didn't test the zero case. Um, whoops. But yeah, for tests, what I did, I wanted some positive numbers, I wanted some negative numbers. Zero would have been a smart thing to test. Um, and then I should test the positive, sorry, the lower and upper bounds. So had I done that, I see zero is the, <laughs> is the um, lower bound. Um, Oops. then I wouldn't have been caught by the error case. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it also seems to me that I could test the negative of that. Um, those would have been smart test cases. I missed the zero test case when I was first doing it. But anyway, that's my solution to the negative binary question. Um, the code problem 1017 convert to base negative 2. Um, yep. If you like this video, let me know by clicking the like button, say something in the comments. If you want to see more really good problems, I'm trying to solve about one a day, um, and then I'm just going to explain them as soon as I solve them. So you can subscribe if you want to see those. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.